Molima Moahludi is general manager at GFK. It's a big research company based here in Johannesburg and joins us today with more on, so, on the so-called connected consumer, the connected consumer. You make the point and a very warm welcome to you Thank that you, it's Jeremy. time to think differently. Today's consumers, you say, are harnessing technology to reinvent themselves, their lives and their communities. In what way have the consumers changed in that respect? Well, we've, we see that um, consumers are obviously a lot more connected these days. And it's not just about being connected, it's about technology having a seamless integration into our lives, into everything we do. Um, be it wearables and fitness trackers, for example, that we were chatting about, or be it even simply using your mobile phone for traffic apps, apps to see how long it's going to take you to make it wherever you are. We're using these devices continuously more and more. And the idea is really that they have to add to it the way we live our lives more than anything. Okay, right back at you. Okay, mm. they've got to add to the way in, we, in which we live our lives, but surely it can also hinder that we've almost become self-obsessed with these things. And therein mm. lies a danger and perhaps sure. it can have detrimental effects. You've got to find the balance, sure. Definitely, yeah. definitely. No, we do have to find a balance, but also from, from a brand's perspective and manufacturer's perspective, they need to make sure they capture these into whatever product that they're building, any service that's coming in, because they're reality, they're part of what we do. Uh, I mean, everybody talks about how kids uh, watch TV and will be on uh, Facebook at the same time, mm. and you think they're not really paying attention, but ask them questions about it later. It's amazing how the brain is just adapted mm. to pick up. So where's the value for brands here? How do they navigate their way into the space? I think the value for brands is it brings them a lot closer to consumers. Um, so in the past, for example, being from a market research point of view, brands need to go through a fairly extensive process to be able to understand what consumers are thinking and saying, whereas now, we've really moved into kind of an experiential uh, industry where consumers and brands are a lot closer and it's easier to understand really what people think about your brand, about your competitors, why they liked it, why they didn't. So how does a brand maximize this technology to its benefit? Well, there's not, I think there's not one clear solution, mm. but I think definitely brands need to embrace it. Brands need to be aware of, uh, for example, what people are saying about them on social media. It's not just about your own media, but mm. also about your own, but also about your own media, what other people are saying that you, it's out of your control mm. that you need to be on top of, because it does affect your sales directly. And Molima, to that end, uh, you also make the point that these connected consumers mm -hmm. that you're referencing embrace freedom, yes. they embrace acceleration, mm -hmm. and they embrace intimacy. Let's work our way through those if we can. What freedom are they embracing? Freedom is really about convenience. You know, that people want to use the technology, like you said, to find a balance to when I need it, when I want it, and not have technology be imposed mm -hmm. on our lifestyles and what we're doing. Uh, so it's really being driven more and more by the consumers in terms of what they want, when they want it. Uh, when you look at uh, acceleration, it talks about the speed of everything happening. I mean, I remember when I started in the research world years ago, we used to talk about two years for a trend to develop in the US, UK, to filter down to here. Mm. When you look at the recent phenomenon of Pokemon Go, for example, just a matter of weeks, it's overnight. it was already here, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the connected world we're living in brings to us. And what about the intimacy component? It's, 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 it's a very personal relationship Definitely. between me and the brand. Definitely, yeah. and which brings us back to this experiential factor I was talking about. Uh, people want to experience, it's a lot more important about how they're experiencing a brand than probably the final product that they're getting. So brands need to be a lot more aware of all those different touch points throughout the communication with consumers. So the intimacy is important, but you also suggest from that intimacy needs mm -hmm. to stem convenience. It's all very well Definitely. to have this kind of stuff, Definitely. but unless it has a direct convenient applicability to my to life personally. as a consumer, it's not going to work. Sometimes there's a, there is a disconnect there. No, definitely. Mm. We've seen a lot of disconnects in, in businesses. And I think, in a way, a lot of companies are still trying to find their way through this new world. And it's just going to happen a lot faster and a lot more going forward in the next coming years. So just a final question then, mm. um, back to the acceleration component, which I would suggest of the three, acceleration, intimacy and freedom, possibly acceleration is the most important thing because you've got to grab my attention instantaneously. Yep. Um, in this world of brand clutter, uh, in this world of uh, consumers engaging with so many different types of platforms, mm. that's perhaps easier said than done. How do we grab attention quickly in this respect to maximize the opportunity for the connected consumer? I think it's really also from a brand's perspective about understanding your audience and understanding what drives them and where you're going to be able to meet them at their best, most receptive moment. It's not just about 
trying to find the most uh, radical way of you know announcing yourself or making a noise. It's 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 about the quality of that interaction that you will have, however long it may be. It might be just ten seconds or so, but if you manage to get the quality connection, you will have that intimacy. Even in ten seconds. That's crazy. So it's, isn't it's, it? it's crazy, yeah. but it's amazing what the brain remembers. Huh? Yeah. It really is. My uh, my wearable device tells me the interview's over. <laughs> you see. <laughs> Thank you very much Perfect. for joining us. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time.